Hello, everybody, and welcome back to To Be Like Christ for our second to last chapter in the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 39. I'm excited to be done with this book. Uh, I'm not quite as excited to get into Leviticus. I've been outlining, and, and let's just say it's been interesting. So uh, if you can hang with us through Leviticus, then you can make it through the whole Bible. <laughs> okay, but today, Exodus chapter 39, when did these events take place? The children of Israel, the Israelites, the Hebrews, they left Egypt in about 1491 BC and they're on their way to the promised land. The events in this chapter happen somewhere between like six months to a year after they left Egypt. Our main characters are the same as they've been for a while. We have Moses, who's the leader of the Israelites. We have the Israelites, who are the large nation of people that have grown from the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And then we have Bezalel and Aholiab. These are two men who were gifted with special skill and craftsmanship by the Spirit of God to be able to create, create uh, the holy items that were going to be used in the tabernacle. Our map pretty much looks the same as well. As I mentioned, the Israelites left Egypt. They went down south towards the Red Sea. They are encamped in this chapter around Mount Sinai. Eventually, they're going to make their way up to Canaan. Moving over to page number two, let's talk about our outline. The first 31 verses of this chapter, we're going to talk about the making of the priest's garments. So while Moses was on Mount Sinai, God gave him very detailed instructions for the creation of the garments, the holy garments that were going to be worn by the priests as they ministered in the tabernacle. And in this chapter, we're going to talk about the creation of those items. The first one was the ephod. The ephod was worn by the high priest, and it was made of, quote, gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet yarns, and fine twine linen. Nobody knows exactly what this looked like, but some good illustrators have put together some ideas online, and you can find them on Google Images and places like that. Next up, there were supposed to be two onyx stones that contained the, the names of the tribes of Israel, and these were attached to the shoulder pieces of the ephod. Then a breast piece was to be made in the style of the ephod. It contained four rows of precious stones, and there were 12 stones total that the high priest would have worn on his chest. The breast piece was attached to the ephod with gold cords. And then a robe of blue was made for the high priest, and on its hem were, were hung small woven pomegranates, and golden bells, so they would have made noise as he was walking. The craftsman also created a turban and a gold crown or a gold plate. The gold plate was attached to the turban that the high priest wore with a blue cord. And then finally, uh, we're just told that additional garments were made for the high priest's sons who were going to assist him in his work in the tabernacle. And then in our final section, verses 32 through 43, the pieces of the tabernacle are finally complete. So after what was apparently several months, all the pieces of the tabernacle were completed, and the people brought them to Moses. Now verse 33 through 41 provides a list of each item that was created, and we've discussed all of these items at length in the last couple chapters. So I'm not going to take the time to lay them all out here again, but just know that if you're interested in the details, you can find them all in the previous chapters. Every article was created according to the instructions that God gave to Moses on Mount Sinai, and we're told that Moses blessed the people for the good work that they had done. Instead of our application for this chapter, I've once again put the diagram of the tabernacle uh, at the bottom of this PDF. You'll see many of the items that were created during this process in the tabernacle, the furniture like the lampstand and the altar of incense, the bronze altar that sat in the courtyard. So if you're not familiar with that already, take a few moments and familiarize yourself. It'll help you put all the pieces together. So thanks everybody for joining us for chapter 39 and Lord willing, tomorrow we will finish off the book of Exodus.